Hey everybody, Sinister Lex here. Today we're talking about mindset and responsibility. Maybe it's a responsibility mindset, I don't really know. Anyway, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, click that get notification bell if you want my notifications. If you are not in the underground Discord chat, just FYI, there's going to be an application process to get in to the Discord chat soon. Because we have so many high value conversations going on in there all the time, I don't want just any riffraff off the street anymore. You're gonna have to apply. But that is not in place yet. So you have a few days if you still wanna join the Discord chat. You can go in there and be a part of that. I would suggest you do that soon. Now, mindset, responsibility, these are some things that I don't talk about these subjects all that often, but I think I should talk about it more sometimes because a lot of people out there don't take responsibility for their situation. Um, they want to throw blame. They want to say other people are to blame besides themselves. And this leads to a poor mindset. And if there's one thing that has allowed me to accomplish awesome shit, then it is having a mindset of always accepting responsibility to be the one to change things that are my problems. So what this means is if you have some situation in life that you don't like, if uh, you're in a job that you think sucks, if you have a boss who you think sucks, if your house isn't as big as you want it to be, if you don't have the clothes you want, if you don't like the food you eat, if you don't like the way you look, it is nobody else's responsibility to change that thing but you. It is nobody else's responsibility to remind you to work out. It is nobody else's responsibility to treat you nicely at work. Even though it would be nice if everybody treated us nicely at work, it's nobody's responsibility to do that. It is not the client's responsibility to have an awesome experience on Upwork or any other place. If you have a bad client, you need to look to yourself. That's your problem. If you get negative feedback, that's not the client's problem. It's not the client's fault. It's your fault and your problem. And you need to figure out what can you do to change that to what can you do to change it next time. Like it always starts by accepting this responsibility of yours for your problem. It's problem ownership. And I don't like to talk about this subject a lot because a lot of people don't like to hear it. They don't want to listen about problem ownership. But there's a reason why I'm able to get ahead sometimes and that has to do with problem ownership. Because when I have a situation that I don't like, I don't turn to other people and say things should be this way or things shouldn't be that way or you should do this and that and this. If I had a shitty boss, I would either find some way to get a different boss or quit that job. If I had a shitty job, I would quit that job. I would go find a different job. That's how it works. If I didn't like how much I was getting paid, I would go find a different job and get paid more somewhere else. So I just want to bring this to your attention because it seems like there's a lot of, of freelancers and other people out there who just want to blame clients for the problems they have or for the bad experiences they have when really the buck stops here with the individual, it stops with you. You have to be the person who looks at this from a rational standpoint and says, this is my responsibility to change this situation if I want it changed. It is nobody else's responsibility, it is nobody else's fault. I can only look to myself because that's the only thing I have control over. So what can I do differently in the future to get different results? That's problem ownership, owning your own problems. Anyway, just wanted to make a quick video about that today. Subscribe down below if you want to see more, or if you're watching this someplace else, click the freaking video and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Join the Discord chat soon because there's going to be an application and you might not get in. Talk to you later. Sinister Lex out.